Freedom is so important for the success of a society. Uh, I think about uh, the think about Korea. They have a they have a demilitarized zone between South and North Korea. And North Korea was all socialist, all Marxist, all government control. And South Korea was free and open, free markets, democracy, a good. And and today the average. Um, South Korean makes 460 times what the average North Korean makes, and that's adjusting for purchasing power. And the average South Korean is now four inches taller than the average North Korean. So, I mean, you want a free country like Miami. That's right. And, um, and, and then the other, part, the other part that really makes a great society is trust. Uh, Lee Kuan Yew came in and took over Singapore about 70 years ago. And during that 70 years ago, he just built trust one brick at a time. And he took Singapore from being the poorest country in the world and the least trustworthy to the most trustworthy and one of the richest countries in the world per capita. And, uh, and so trust is the other thing I really want to point out. So you put together freedom and trust, and what do you get? Bitcoin! <laughs> <laughs> so people say, why, you know, why do you want, why do you want to have Bitcoin? Freedom and trust. And then people say, well, when are you going to sell your Bitcoin? And I think, into what? <laughs> what would I ever? It's like saying, oh, you've got a bunch of euros. Let's turn them into drachma or French francs, or let's take U.S. dollars and turn them into. Confederate money. I mean, you just, there's, there's no sense in it. You, you, if you've got Bitcoin, you've got the currency of the future. And so why try to change your currency of the future into the currency of the past? Well, let me